handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Professor Hard Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the letter. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will, but instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? 
Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Akio! Excellent control there! Splendid! That's it! Very good! Points to Ravenclaw! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Not to worry. Let us see this. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. 
It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You can use Akio on humans. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you.
day coming along. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight. Off on another adventure, are we? Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior.
Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. What are you up to now? Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic.
That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Like we already named That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. 
I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? Oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Be right with ah it's you um just a moment please uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. 
Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance.
An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture, or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Revelio. Honeydew's potion wants keeping away from today's young, I'd say.
Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Rebellion. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Revelio.
Repairer. Revelio. I'd be glad if they I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. 
and thank you again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. Repair her. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repairer. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. 
I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Rebellion. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever.
Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. <laughs> 